Uh, I'm Jeff DeVelco, Director of the Environmental Change and Security Program here at the Woodrow Wilson Center in Washington, D.C. I'm very fortunate to have Carol Dumaine uh, join us for a conversation. Carol heads the Energy and Environment, uh, Environmental Security Directorate at the Department of Energy, and Carol's someone who we've look to for leadership and understanding how we need to take a different look at security in the 21st century and particularly obviously focusing on energy and environment. So can you tell me how you see uh, the necessity for a paradigm shift and how the work of your office, you and your colleagues, is trying to act on um, looking at these issues in a, in a different way than we have uh, in the past? Thanks, Jeff. Um, well, first of all, we are considering energy and environmental issues as an integral whole, not peeled apart as they usually are, and um, looking for the security implications of these. And these might be what you call second and third order effects. It's, for instance, widely uh, acknowledged that climate change is a threat amplifier. It makes things that are already difficult, such as failing states or ethnic conflict, uh, more difficult, but there are sort of uh, second and third order effects that we need to look for in the interconnections between things like rising temperatures, uh, fuel scarcity, food scarcity, uh, disrupted supply chain systems, or maybe extreme weather events that might knock out energy infrastructure, which affects whether we have trucks on the road delivering foods to our, food to our grocery stores. Mm -hmm. So just in those examples, it's should be obvious that you just can't hire every conceivable uh, disciplinary ex uh, talent into your office. Um, the area of energy and environmental security needs to encompass zoology, virology, um, all kinds of disciplines, even information science, and I would say perhaps especially information science, because the paradigm here is of very diffuse, globally distributed risk. And the response must be very diffuse, globally uh, distributed, I would say, intelligence. And I use that word in the broadest sense of human ingenuity and what happens when you get bright people together who share a similar uh, concern or passion. Uh, that's when you get, um, let's say, nonlinear impacts. You get nonlinear impacts from human creativity and intellect. Now, I happen to be presently at the Department of Energy, where we have uh, the largest co-location on Earth of uh, national laboratories chock full of science and technology expertise, and um, quite a bit of investment over the years in aspects of this problem. So it is to be hoped that we can connect that sort of expertise with the expertise that exists in the private sector and academia and think tanks. The paradigm shift that I see as needed is that we're facing uh, unprecedented challenges, literally things that have never happened in the history of humankind. And um, that should give us some pause. And I'm talking about not only rising temperatures, which everybody hears about, but dramatic changes in precipitation, possibility of millions of people having to be uh, relocated, um, and challenges to governance on scales that we perhaps haven't seen before. Um, we need to find ways to articulate these as security issues, and I strongly suggest that they need to be looked at in a global framework, not in terms of merely a national, a traditionally de nationally delineated security concerns. Mm -hmm. um, that is um, our, our natural tendency, of course, but that's going to make us blind to the globally systemic risks, uh, such as we've already experienced with the global economic crisis that's still underway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, in, in fact, you've, you've written that for those very reasons, we need to uh, also have a concept of common security that, that puts that larger level of analysis on the table full, full square uh, as opposed to just the national approach to it um, and bringing those together. Well, Carol, thank you very much for, for, for that kind of framing the rationale for a different approach with uh, the 21st century security challenges that, that we both will look to your office for leadership and, and, 
Thank you. Thank you.